Welcome to um, Mark's Ghosty Corner and I've brought you to Stratford upon Avon and one of my favourite haunted locations, Tudor World. So I'm back, I'm back again. And those that know me know two things. One, I have a tendency of falling over stuff all the time, which is what I've just done now. And the other thing is, I absolutely adore Tudor World. I love this place. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, it's a bank holiday Monday, so as you can see, it's uh, somewhat busy. They've got some kind of car show on or something, some vintage cars, so it's absolutely packed at the moment with people, so I don't know how busy it's going to be in here. But yeah, Tudor World. Love this place. Let's get inside. Let's have a look around. So, I'm just going to walk in and show you the exterior a little bit before I go in um, and do uh, pay my ticket, my admission fee, and then go and have a look around. Now, I don't know how busy it's going to be inside. Obviously, if you've got visitors walking around at the same time, uh, I'm not going to get them on film, so I'm going to have to dance around people a bit, I think, really. But, but John said it's fine for me to come and um, video. This is John Ford, the owner um, of Tudor World. And it's absolutely gorgeous building. So yeah, he said I could um, come in and do some filming. And then I can talk about the place a little bit, but yeah, so. Thought I'd come and show you in the daytime. Uh, I am coming back in July to do a paranormal event. I'm actually um, coming with Sherilyn. She's actually got a group together and we're gonna come in and and check the place out um, but up until then coming in the daytime and having a look is going to be my best option so like I said with the Hinkley Museum when you walk around these places don't just look um, at the displays in the museum which is that way in into where the shop is and you pay to go in um, look at the building because part of the, the beauty of these places is actually the location It's looking at the history of the building itself uh, You know in this building it's over 400 years old, you know um, You look at the windows you know, Look at the history of it That's that's the beauty of these buildings. You want to look at the history of the place. It's not just walking around I mean, you know, you could if you paid and went in you could walk around the place in probably like 10 minutes. You don't want to do that. You want to appreciate the beauty of the building as well. So yeah, I'm, um, I'm going to get inside. Like I said, pay my admission and uh, we'll walk around. It's going to be pretty busy in there. So I'm going to have to, uh, I might have to, we'll be able to talk all the time. But I'm going to walk around uh, and do some filming. So I'll try and speak when I can. So yeah, let's head in. Let's pay. Let's check it out. Right, so this is the entrance. I'm uh, on her sign. It's okay, not a problem. <laughs> this is the entrance. I'm uh, I'm going to pay. So this is um, this is where you pay here, and then that's where you go in, start walking around. Um, over there, they've got like a, an outdoor theatre, which is not normally open to the public unless they've got any um, shows on. But when you do paranormal events and that. Um, the base room is just past there. There's like a little room which is uh, where they do tea, coffee and all the rest of it. So that's normally where paranormal groups have the base room. Um, and then of course, like I said, you've got this outdoor theatre. But of course, we haven't got access to that today. So we can't get down there. Um, but outside of that, yeah, I'm going to um, get in, check this place out. I mean, as I've always said before, I've said for years, I absolutely adore Tudor World. I love this place. I've done many paranormal events here over the years. So can't get, I can't wait to get in. Um, so I'm going to pay, and then we'll carry on. So I've paid. I'm on my way in. There we go. We've got. Look, this is how friendly the staff are. Go on, give us a wave. Hooray! There we go. Thank you, Tudor World. Yeah, thank you very much. So uh, this is the shop they've actually got in Tudor World, which is great. I mean, yeah. you actually look at some of the stuff. I mean, obviously this is not the history of the building, but I just want to show you because. Oh, by the way, that's me walking on this. That's creaking. It's not paranormal. Um, they've got loads of interesting stuff which you can actually um, purchase actually in the shop and these like goblets and things which is cool 
I remember when my son was a bit younger um, and I actually came here and I actually bought one of these bows and like shields and stuff. He absolutely loved that. And got helmets and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, so if you go and come and visit this place, which I highly recommend you actually do, um, do check the shop out. They've got loads of really cool stuff. But yeah, this is the uh, the way in. So this is the way in, uh, this is the way out. So you kind of do a full circle as you work your way through and then go up the stairs. We've got these really uh, awesome kind of mannequins, which if you're doing a paranormal event and it's night time, scares the hell out of you if you actually forget they're there and you suddenly turn around with your little torch on and you're suddenly faced with this. It gives you, uh, it neither gives you a heart attack and you keel over because you forget they're there. But yeah, they've got these... Um, cool figures all around which we'll, I'll show you as I'm walk, working my way in so yeah so we'll go for the curtain I'm not sure how many people are in here at the moment but oh, there you go welcome to Tudor World got loads of um, plaques displays that give the history of like Henry VIII and you know William Shakespeare because obviously Stratford upon Avon is famous for Shakespeare now these net curtains which cover the doorways um, and if you're doing a paranormal event if you're doing an investigation here and you actually forget about these things and you walk into them again that gives you a bit of a shock as well I mean, there's loads of things I absolutely love about this place, but they have like really cool displays out. And of course, even like I said, when you come in and you walk around, don't forget to actually look at the building itself or the or the oak beams. And of course, you know. The windows don't forget to look at the windows you know this building is just oozing history that's making me kind of hungry seeing all that lot got a lot of really authentic furniture as well so if you look at the uh, the kind of decoration on the on the chair and also you can see this kind of like side unit here as well and that's the way you uh, you carry on there's some stairs that go up here but like I said we've got some vistas that are here at the moment so they're um, working their way around that's lovely um, kind of like chest here yeah so you get loads of these really interesting displays that give you um, the history of the place this is about the building itself and um, like I said when you walk around this place always check the signs out always read about the history of it like, like it used to be there was a tavern in like the 16th and 17th century and it was a farm building in the 12th to the 16th century so it's a really really old building and you're going all the way back to the 12th century so this map of uh, Stratford upon Avon so yeah we're only in room one absolutely fantastic displays brings a lot of memories back for me walking around it really does of the investigations that I've actually done here in the past um, and I'll talk more about that as I work my way around but yeah awesome so we'll just work our way through um, into the next room again you've got these neck curtains we've actually had it when we've done investigations um, where these have actually moved on their own so, and there's been like no drafts in here at all because like I said, the windows uh, are all sealed up. They don't open up. 
Uh, and a lot of them are like boarded off because they have display units over them anyway. So we've actually had it where um, drafts, you've seen it where like the curtains have moved almost like somebody's brushed past it. Um, but it turns out there's actually no one there that you can actually see, which is really interesting. Love mirrors, Absolutely love them. especially for scrying. If you're doing an investigation, you got a mirror like this, you can try and do some scrying out. So, yeah, love mirrors. So, I've, um, I've just I've missed a room and I will come back round to it um, because, like I said, we've got some visitors that are here at the moment. So, I'm just having to dance around a little bit. So, if the video becomes a little bit disjointed, um, that's because the mammoths obviously work around that there's visitors actually in the building. You know, it's a very popular tourist attraction, so at the end of the day, you have to appreciate there are going to be people um, working their way around. Now this is interesting, you'll see some um, ladders here which go up, and that actually goes to the attic. <laughs> Um, which is the most haunted part of the location. Um, absolutely adore the attic. Can't really, can't really see it very well. But yeah, that's up into the attic. So, um, as I've said on previous videos, that's where they've got like a, a room set up for seances. It's specifically designed for seances. Well, that's me creaking floorboards. You have to watch that old building. Creaky floorboards. So yeah, um, so up there, like I said, they've got a, a big room, which is the attic space. It's like it consists of one big room and then two smaller rooms. Uh, but the big room's got like a large table in it with chairs around it, and it's specifically designed for um, seances. Um, and it's definitely the most haunted part of the building. We've had some absolutely fantastic experiences up there on uh, our paranormal investigations and our venue nights in the past. This is the uh, ship room. Um, quite interesting, this room, because when you actually uh, do an investigation in here, the floor is uneven. It's at a bit of an angle. So if it's pitch black or you've got your eyes closed and you're you know, trying to use your senses, for example, um, you can feel a bit disorientated, almost like you're being pushed over to one side. Uh, you know, the, the, it's the whole inner ear thing. Um, so it's not always paranormal. It could be just, um, you know, being in the dark and you're standing at a little bit of an angle. So you do have to watch out for that. Also, um, as I've already said, creaky floorboards. So sometimes you can be standing in here thinking that you're hearing a noise um, from spirit. But it turns out that actually it's just creaky floorboard. But the one thing I do love about this place, because um, I'm going to point out things that could be obviously not paranormal, but at the same time there are absolutely so many things that are paranormal, and I know 100% that this building is haunted. So that's what I love about this place, is that you can rule out one, but for every everything that you debunk, you've got about another 20 things behind it which you can't. So that's what I absolutely adore about this place. Um, is that I know it's active and I know it's haunted because of the stuff we've had in the past. Hence, why I adore this building. And um, I never get tired about coming back and checking it out. So um, we'll go that way in a minute. That's going to go further into the museum. I just wanted to show you this space so let's work our way through to uh, the next bit 
you think it strange, but it will be. And before the race is built anew, a silver serpent comes to view, and spew out men of like unknown, to mingle with the earth now grown. Cold from its heat, and these men can enlighten the minds of the Like I said, they got these absolutely awesome kind of mannequins dotted around. Really uh, creepy faces, huh? When they do, the golden age will start anew. And as I've said before, the look at the building as well, you know, you're talking four or five hundred year old building as well, so you want to appreciate that when you look at all the windows and you're walking past things. <laughs> wood panelling on, on the walls. Some of which is authentic and some which is not, so... Uh, 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 this oh, I at my house in Loves the oak beams in this place. Dora. But yeah, one of the uh, one of the things I love about Tudor World is, like I said, they've got so many interesting displays around as well. Um, and if you are doing any kind of paranormal uh, investigation, you have to really be careful where you're walking, especially when it's um, it's dark, so you don't end up tripping over something. Um, but we've actually had it in the past where some of this stuff has been moved, and you've actually heard it being moved. Um, which is pretty cool. So, you know, a simple thing like, like that. But again, no drafts, nothing that would actually cause that. Um, outside, of course, as I've said before about the flooring, that sometimes if you put pressure on one floor um, panel, it can obviously affect it, and, and obviously that will go across, which then might make something kind of sound like it's moving, so you have to watch out for things like that as well. Cool. It's great being back again. Actually, they have the, the loads of these. I don't know why you can see this. It's quite dark in here, but they got like little smell boxes where you can actually, um, or you can smell inside. Oh, I think yeah, I think it's in there. So it's like that. What did the market smell like? <laughs> Not very nice, I don't imagine. Yes, yeah, so let's carry on working our way through. We're going in that direction. So there's quite a few um, tourists in at the moment, so I am going to have to work around around them all. Um, smell boxes
Again, you've got to watch these neck curtains when you when you're walking through them. But when you actually see one of these moving and there's actually no one near it um, on a paranormal night, that's pretty cool. And these are the um, stairs that kind of lead um, back down to the ground floor again. We've actually had it here where we've um, had a ball which we put on the top of the stairs and um, the flooring was fine because everybody was downstairs nobody was up here so nobody was walking around which would affect the floorboard so we had this ball which was on there and it hadn't moved um, for ages and then we were all downstairs down this bottom bit here and we were like we had a little table and uh, pendulum on it that kind of thing and then the ball just suddenly started bouncing all the way down the stairs. Like I said, no one had pushed it at all. Um, there was nobody up here that would affect it, you know, the weight on the on the, uh, the flooring. That was pretty cool. A K2 spiking up here as well. There's no fuse boxes up here that would actually cause that. It wasn't walkie-talkies. So... Taps, knocks, you name it in this place. So yeah, these are the, um, the plague rooms. Move around a bit, there you go. Playroom. We've actually this is like a little area which you can you can kind of sit in. And we've done that, we've done some EVP sessions as well. We've had some audibles, um, voices coming through, tapping sounds, that kind of thing. So I don't think there's any part of this building that we've not had some kind of um unexplained reaction whether it's paranormal or it's actually just the building itself because like I said you've got to remember you're not just dealing with um, the paranormal side you are obviously dealing with a really old creaky building so cool Just keep touching them all the time but right. love it yeah the play doctor it's definitely not someone you'd want to uh, try and cure you anyway let's put it that way like that welcome to uh, the play cottage lots of um, interactive buttons here which I think is really good as well so you know keep kids entertained and, and interested but good from the history point of view as well tells you stuff about the um, about the plague Now this spot actually here, as I said, we had a table which had a pendulum on it and this is an amazing experience we actually had. There's no drafts that are going through here at all because like I said all the windows are closed off uh, or boarded up because we've got display units in front of them. And we had a pendulum here and it was just spinning around on its own like this and there was no one near it at the time. This was a different time than when we had the ball um, which was you know, bouncing down the stairs. This was a different time, but yeah, so we had this pendulum. We were actually uh, over here at the time doing an EVP session or something. So we were over there. Nobody was up, up the stairs. So we had this pendulum and it just started spinning around on its own. It's crazy. No explanation for that. It definitely wasn't a draft, anything like that at all. It was, it was cool. just 
great, absolutely great being back in the building again. I adore this place. Again, got these neck curtains. So what I'm going to try and do is um, go back round and try and revisit some of the rooms that I've, I've had to skip past, uh, past a little bit. So because like I said, I'm having to try and work around the other visitors here. So uh, I'm going to do that and see if I can actually get to one of the other rooms um, that I had to skip through. Right, let me have a look. I'm going to see if there's a bit of a, gra a gap in the, uh, in the crowd. So we have a look. Oh no, it's um, still people in there at the moment, so yeah, very busy today, but it is Bank Holiday Monday, so I suppose it's to be, it's to be expected. So I might have to video around people a bit, but... So yeah, I've, um, I've had to come back out because, as I said, very, very popular uh, tourist attraction, Tudor World. So um, absolutely packed on the inside, as you'd imagine it would be. So I've just come back out again. Uh, I've got about as much video in uh, on this particular trip as I possibly can. I think uh, I'll definitely have to come some other time, like in the week when it quiets down a little bit. But obviously we're getting into the uh, spring and the summer period now. So... Um, this is where they're getting very very popular with the tourists coming in and walking around so but I just wanted to do a quick video and just show you guys um, Tudor World in all its glory and how much I absolutely adore this place I sort of investigated here for years and years and years it's in my top five most haunted locations for a reason um, that's because it's so active that's why and it's just, you know, like I said, there's logical things that you can kind of um, put explanations on, which is like, you know, creaking floorboards, you know, an old building, you know, kind of creaks and it groans, especially as the temperature changes. Um, walking on the floorboards and all that kind of stuff. But outside of that, there's been so much stuff that's happened, especially in the attic space, which cannot be easily explained away. So I just wanted to uh, come and do a video and show you the place. I absolutely adore this building. Love it. And every single time I come back, I just, I just love it. <laughs> I love being here. I love Tudor World. Great location. And a really beautiful building as well, you know, in, in Stratford-upon-Avon. Really, really, really old town. So, But yeah, um, if you ever come to Stratford-upon-Avon, um, if you ever want to, you know, check out this place, I highly recommend it. Not only as a tourist attraction in the daytime, because it's a fantastic museum with loads of really interesting displays. But if you ever get a chance to come here and do an investigation yourself, whether that's part of a venue group or, you know, um, your own group, 
I really do highly recommend that you come and check Tudor World out. Cause like I said, it's, only, it's in my top five for a reason. I've had such strong activity, consistent activity in this place over the years. Um, it's an amazing location and I can't really rate it any higher than I already do. So it was only, like I said, a quick visit round because they're, they're really busy. There's loads of people inside now. So it makes it a little bit hard to, to film, but yeah. Come to Stratford upon Avon, check Tudor World out. Amazing location, absolutely adore the place. Uh, and it's gonna stay in my top five and it is not budging. Um, and I'm hoping that when I come back in July um, with Sherilyn, uh, the uh, Ghostly Grimoire channel uh, to do a private investigation, um, that hopefully I shall catch uh, even more activity, but get it on film this time for once. So but yeah, I can't wait for that. Again, that's in July. Um, and, uh, and we'll see what actually happens. But yeah, outside of that, I'm going to say um, goodbye to Tudor World on this particular occasion because they're very busy, very busy. Um, but yeah, that's it. So if you've enjoyed watching this video, as always, please click the like button and um, subscribe. Outside of that, I shall say um, goodbye to Tudor World and I shall catch up with you on the next one.